Just a few weeks ago, Yusuf Shahid was a junior minister. Now he's tasked with getting Tunisia out of its current economic crisis. Concerning our situation in 2017, if we don't do anything, we'll have to implement austerity measures, reduce our expenditure on health and social security, lay off thousands of people, increase taxes, and stop investing in development and infrastructure. Shahid will be hoping his government will have enough support to carry out these radical measures. His cabinet includes representatives from several political parties. He's also appointed 14 young politicians, five of whom are younger than 35. Eight women and perhaps most importantly, two union members. Even before the vote of confidence, Shahid appeared to have the political backing he'll need to lead Tunisia. Our country needs us. We have to stand up for Tunisia to protect peace and fight terrorism so that the economy grows and we can create jobs. We have to stand up for Tunisia so that democracy can succeed. We have to stand up for Tunisia so that hope returns to the youth, to those in the country and abroad, to those working class and the poor and all Tunisians. But it seems this enthusiasm doesn't extend beyond the walls of parliament. Outside, locals have expressed their doubts that Chad's government will be able to succeed where others have failed. Unfortunately, over the past six years, we've had seven governments. That's a lot. Every time we hope the government will stand up for the poor and oppressed. But in the end, they don't change anything. There is a lot of disorder in our political landscape and politicians have to restore trust and work to meet the expectations of Tunisians, particularly stability in politics and in our state institutions. Many Tunisians have lost hope and that's exactly what Shahid will have to address, returning hope to a country that's been stagnating economically for five years and that is now in a very delicate situation. Yusuf Geji, CCTV, Tunis, Tunisia.